Good evening, all my friends. Tonight I'm gonna to show you how to make a very easy and economical um, chicken pot pie. Sorry, I almost like lost my train of thought. And I just came from Pilates, so don't judge me <laughs> right now. All right, so anyways, I went ahead. What you need is chicken. So you can either boil chicken breast and chop it all up that way, I took the easy way out and I got a rotisserie chicken. I tore it up and chopped it all up here. You're gonna want two cans of cream of chicken soup, a splash of milk, salt and pepper, some garlic powder, some onion powder. Um, now this is a double recipe, so you can half everything if you'd like. Only one can um, as well as I microwaved the um, vegetables, super cheap, super easy. Um, again, like I said, this is a double recipe. So what you're gonna do, oh, you also need um, some crescent rolls, but I'll show you that part later. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna combine everything into the pan and you can go ahead and microwave these to how they're supposed to be done. Oh, you know what? We need to uh, preheat the oven to 375. So let's do that and more of the vegetables okay now we're going to dump the chicken in right into the same the same pan we'll go ahead and do some pepper we're going to do some salt and then we'll do some let's see onion powder you can, again, put whatever spices you'd like in there, but I just put whatever I find. Some garlic powder. And the cans of the cream of chicken soup. If you don't have chicken, I'm assuming you can put in cream of mushroom, but I get these at Aldi, about 35 cents a can. So very inexpensive. Um, dish to do and actually the chicken rotisserie chicken was on sale for $4.99 which is a pretty pretty decent deal too and then last but not least we will do the splash of milk in here and then what we're gonna do we're gonna stir it up we're gonna put it on the stove on medium heat so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna pour it into the pan and I will spray her down. So since this is a double recipe, you're gonna use the, um, what is that, eight, nine by 11? I don't know what that is, but the bigger pan. And what you're gonna do is you're going to go ahead and pour everything in. Just put it all in. All right, so that's done, and then this is the, I guess, difficult part if you want to think it's difficult. However, keep these in, the crescent rolls in the um, refrigerator so they stay pretty cold because when I undid the first one, they kind of tore apart. So what you want to do is you're going to lay these out so you don't want them to tear apart um, like mine have started to do. So let's see here. I'm going to have to. It gets a little messy too. I'm just kind of laying them down at this point. And yeah, well, mine are falling apart, but that's okay. You could place them however you want. Makes it a little more interesting, I guess. And one more, we'll open this one up. This made me scream when I opened up the other one. That always freaks me out. Does it freak you guys out when you have to open these and then I bang it? There we go. That one wasn't as bad as the first one. The first one made some loud noise. Okay, so what we do, again, is roll it out. That's how it's supposed to go, kind of better than the first one I did. And then you're actually just supposed to kind of lay it over it. But since I've already started to lay, I don't want to really double up on the, double up too much. Oh my goodness. So I'm just gonna cover like the parts and the pieces that don't have any 
Actually, I might go ahead and just make some crescent rolls on the side because I think I might have too much, but maybe not. I'll just put it all in. We'll see how it goes. Oh my goodness, it's sticking all over y'all. Okay, this is, this is a little messy. Probably better, like I said, if it was still cold in the fridge a little bit longer. Whoa, okay. You can also get your kids to help with this. <laughs> that would be fun for them to play with all this crescent roll dough. Okay, so that's gonna be that. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe my hands off. And what you do is you um, read the directions on your crescent rolls. I did it uh, the oven for 375. And all you're really doing, since the other stuff has been done already, all you're doing is pretty much baking the crescent rolls. So you'll you'll see. How's that look, y'all? Looks pretty good. Well, you're gonna want to let it cool because it's pretty much um, on fire right now. So, and then we'll be just putting it in a bowl or however you want to eat it. Um, I do want to say that this is a super easy um, meal to prepare. Uh, for busy working moms or whatever you are, shout out to uh, my sister-in-law. She's the one that's trying to get me into TikTok and making these videos, but she is a very busy mama. She's beautiful inside and out. She owns her own business, online boutique, Blue Lane Boutique, just if you want to look at her stuff. And <coughs> sorry, my dogs are barking. And um, so Samantha, this is for you. This would be super easy for you to make for the family. All right.